Renegade. Ha ha. What rhymes with thousand? Thousand Bowser. Husband. Alright. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and today we are back with another dun -dun 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 -dun. Wait, I know I'm saying your last name wrong. I know everyone says it's poetry, but yeah. I read that it's actually pronounced I say it poetry because I grew up saying okay. poetry because I thought it was like poetry because my dad used to okay. write poems for my mom. In Indonesian, oh, E is you, so it's Putri. Putri. These yeah. are both beautiful, but Stephanie oh, Poetry yeah. is with me what's today. Up, up? We have an entire giant pile of seafood boil, which you like. Yeah. She has gloves in her purse because she goes to boiling crab every single week. Exactly. So she's ready with the mukbang gloves. We have two pounds of king crab legs, a pound of snow crab legs, a pound of mussels, crawfish, shrimp, and some corn, and some potatoes. So, Whoa. <laughs> I know. So it's getting it a little bit intense, <laughs> and I guess we should just get started. Yeah. Is this your sure. first mukbang? It is, um, but I also eat messy, so I'm like shy. Okay, no, I like it. I but like messy eaters. like that. I'm gonna okay. use this because... To get your hair out yeah. the way. So my fiance loves your song. I love you 3000. <gasps> Who the heck doesn't love your oh song? Oh my god, thank you so much. Right? I, I still am like kind of shook because I see kids liking it at first. Mm -hmm. I didn't assume adults would. Really I assume funny. adults would be like, what is this? I thought adults would love it because it's so romantic. Oh, well, I'm it's glad like a they wedding do, song though. vibe. I saw people like putting it at their weddings and it like almost made me cry. Because like being a part of someone's like special day is so intense. And like, they'll remember it forever. Yeah, I'm like, okay, I won't do anything bad then so that like it won't ruin your memory. I actually found out about you. Not through that song. I'm actually so embarrassed to remember. I was watching a genius compilation oh. <laughs> of singers who sound better than auto-tune. You know how they have the ones that are like oh singers versus auto-tune and yeah. it's usually never like a good <laughs> like a good video <laughs> to be a part of were you nervous oh for God. those i was really nervous i was like shaking because funny story i like when my song came out i mm -hmm. told my like manager i was like my dream i have like three dreams so like, meet david Dobrik. Like, <gasps> one of them was to get into genius verified okay three days later she got an email and then she was like, hey, hey, come down, come downstairs. And then she showed me, and there's a video of me crying. <gasps> being like, what? Oh my god. And the fact that it was like three days later was really weird. Because my manager wouldn't wouldn't have known like what genius was exactly. un un until I told her. Please, but, like, this, I'm going to just oh turn into like an Asian mom. I'm like, here you, you go. Um, okay, there's some scissors next to you. All right. The Did you spend most of your time in Indonesia? My dad is from Texas. From Texas? Yes, so I'm, but like I grew up in Indonesia, so I kind of, mm -hmm. I say I'm Indonesian because my mindset is, and you know, I grew up there, so. Mm -hmm. But like, my nose is Texan. But like a what? beautiful Texan. Oh. Yeah, you look girl. like a hot cow girl, cow you know girl. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. Was born in Indonesia. Okay. Grew up in Indonesia, went to high school in Indonesia, went to the same high school ever since preschool until I graduated. Did you like it? I loved it, and my dad was like, he was a music teacher, and then he became the principal. So I was like, cool, you know, because like my dad. That. He was the one who gave you detention. And that's all. And he principles. gave me detention. He gave you detention. <laughs> yeah, it was. He was always like, girl, like I told you, like you're embarrassing me. You were like the first artist that I've ever spoken to. So I'm kind of shaking right now. Really? Yeah. For me, you are my celebrity. So this was intense. No, okay, here's the tea. Okay, tell here's me the tea. Here's tell the, the tea. Tea. Here's tell the me the tea. tea. In high school, I liked studying by listening to people talk. So it's as if I'm studying with someone and I would play your videos all the time while I study. So it's because like you you talk when you eat and what's great is like when your video ends, I take a break too. My first video that I found of yours was the one with the girl in the tank. The girl in the tank? Which one? The girl in the hotel tank. Oh, oh, Eliza yeah. Lamb. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that so happened in LA. Too. Wait, do you believe in stuff like paranormal stuff? That was a oh, question oh. I wanted to ask. Yeah, Indonesia is the hub for paranormal stuff. Yeah. Really? It is. Like, have you seen one? I've only had ever had one experience, and I was seven, and I used to have this hallway in my old house that had no lights, and it wasn't that long. It's probably like three meters. I don't know what that is. In oh, shit, I don't but, know But, <laughs> yeah, I was like, I ran through because I wanted to go to my bedroom to sleep. I ran through, and then suddenly in the middle, I saw a face like right in front of my face, and I, Eric, I can even, I, I drew it in my YouTube channel where her hair was like floating away, and it was black and white, and she was like, ha! Ah! To the point where I fell back and I ran to like my babysitter and I was like, 
what? something happened yeah a part of me is also like maybe it's just because i was a child like i was but then i heard children are more they're just more they're just more sus i think indonesia is definitely like a hub for those things so if you're ever in indo let me know you would like Wait, but do the you neighborhood feel- shower or something? Is there anything creepy that ever happened to you in LA? What's like the no. creepiest? Have you had a creepy fan encounter yet? No, all my friends are always so lit. They come and they're like, sis. I'm like, oh, sis. Because they know I'm in like a, I'm in the stan culture, yeah. like I stan all these people. <gasps> okay. And so they talk to me like I'm a stan too. So we're both like, yeah. Oh my god, girl, like that's a team. I did watch an interview of you talking about the background information mm-hmm. of how you wrote I Love You 3000. Yes. And I was shook. Can you please let them know that you wrote that through Instagram? <laughs> like, how do you write a banger through Instagram? I think that's the only way I can write. My sister likes to do this because she's an illustrator. She mm-hmm. draws. And so she would ask people to send her, like, something to draw. And then she'd have a big, a big paper and she just, like... Thanks, Sorry, Mom. me being, like, an Asian Thank mom. you. Continue, continue. You, Mama. I kind of stole that idea off of her and mm-hmm. I was like, send me a word or phrase and I'll write into a song. I got a bunch of I Love You Thousand because the movie just came out. Y'all yeah, know what movie. The thing is, like, when I left the, the theater, that was one of the things that, like, really resonated with mm-hmm. me. Also because I got into Marvel because of my dad. We get all the Captain Marvel comics, like Captain America. Basically, we watched we watched the movie together. So Aww. I came out of like thinking about that phrase. And so I just wrote the, the chorus super quickly and like mm-hmm. the 15-second story. And then yeah. I got a bunch of people telling me, like, can you write into a full song? Mm-hmm. And your girl had no budget. Like, <laughs> this was like all DIY. That's why I recorded the music video with my phone, with my the sister. The music video was with your phone? Yeah, I had to do everything myself. It was intense. Like, I was like, I had to break down because it was like too much. So at one point, it was three days of me walking around like my favorite places, which are like the bowling alley, like the grocery store. The grocery store. S- yeah, favorite. and then I saw you stick your finger in your nose and I was like, I freaking love her. <laughs> I want to be her best friend. I would be like, I don't want to eat with her because like gross no, but that's like exactly what i do at grocery stores in the ramen section <laughs> i'm just like waiting in the ramen section yeah. specifically did you google yeah. a ride Girl, what rhymes with thousand i was like hold up what i just legit sat there like thousand bowser and i was like husband i guess if i say thousand like thousand it sounds and like husband, husband. With that like mm. Texan accent. Yeah, husband. You know, husband. You wanna be my husband or what? <laughs> I get it. Exactly. So honestly at that point I was like single. I was like, like I had nobody. I was like, trying to get married. At that point. What point are we Even at? Even until now, now like I'm oh. like, I was like, I'm not trying to get married. I'm like Yeah. But just cause it rhymed. And I think also I feel like I have this whole thing where I feel like like people who have who haven't gone through like the reality of certain things yeah have like a more kind of like fairy tale perspective of it so like i was able to write it as if it was this like you know like fairy tale even though you know sometimes like proposals are hard especially like asian proposals girl like in indonesian proposals you have to like meet the parents and i'm like really yeah it's like you have to you don't like you don't really get proposed you like talk about it with your significant other and you're like okay or like like whose parents are we going to first stuff like that okay so it's not like a surprise That's really good. It is? Okay. I feel like you're not eating. I feel like I keep asking you too many questions. No, but that's okay because I I eat too fast. Like, I eat too fast. I don't like yesterday I had like a really bad like stomach ache. Everyone else was still halfway through their plate and I finished like double portion. See, I feel like we should be friends. Are we not? I feel like we are friends <laughs> yes. now. Like you are filming yes. music videos on your iPhone in a freaking grocery store. Why do I, I feel like feel that's that? like you if, if in like another life? That's like me if I want to become every single YouTuber we just <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> My mom says I should never sing in public because it's like a family thing. Can you tell by someone's speaking voice if they're going to be no, good at singing? You can't not tell. at all. Because I, I feel yeah. like you can practice singing. Because mm-hmm. I, I have I heard people who like have the most like cool, like raspy voice, but they're just a little bit. They suck. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I, would, I don't want to say it. When they sing, they had a good voice, but they can't keep the note. That's just something that you're born with, like, to keep a note. Oh, interesting. Because yeah. I feel like your voice sounds so smooth. So I try to do my research. I try to be like, okay, do artists, like, not That's my eat favorite spicy? thing about you because you do your you research. research. <laughs> when you do your videos, like, you, you don't, like, look at paper and just read. You're like, I need you know, I need you know. Yeah. I tried doing my research because I was mm-hmm. like, I don't want to get anything too spicy because I also read that some artists are, like, really crazy about, like, the things that they mm-hmm. put in their mouth, like, spice-wise. Mm-hmm. Do you do any of that? Or like, do you only take like steam showers for your throat? Oh my god, I I genuinely don't do anything <laughs> special because I never even took singing lessons. You I never took singing lessons. I never took music. I always took art, like graphic design and visual arts because I just, I, I don't like learning things that might make me hate the thing. I used to love like English because like I like making poems and stuff yeah. because I was a bit like, oh my god, like I can do English. And mm-hmm. then I like took like a hard English class and it like made me hate it. Oh, 
hard English. I thought you were going to say like a poetry class, like a writing class. Oh, girl, no. And you're like, like a hard English class. And they yeah. were like, what rhymes with thousand? Bowser. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my God. I love <laughs> seafood. I'm sorry. I'm like <laughs> going crazy. No, what's your favorite restaurant in LA so far? Boil and crab. Boil and crab. Wow. Sponsor me. Do you cook? Um, barely. <laughs> I cook enough to survive. <laughs> like if you, I know how to push it, I guess. It's the best thing to have on, on ramen. Gosh, have you tried the two times nuclear spicy ramen? I haven't even tried the one time. I haven't you haven't tried the one time? I can't handle any spice. This is like the maximum for me. But like, did you see like me doing this? It was because my nose was running, but like, uh, I like it so far. Oh my God. I can I handle just this. emotional hanging out with me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I really want to ask you a couple of questions and they're going to be a little bit strange. And I feel like if you have like a PR team that like wants me to take it out because you answer it really incorrectly, it's fine because I'm trying to figure out if you're a psychopath. It's something I like to do on all my collabs. But if you tell me that, like, what if I am a psychopath and I'm so good at hiding it? That's already a psychopathic thing to say. I like it. Just to give you some, like, clearance, I got most of these right. <laughs> <laughs> Looking around. A little too clean, I feel like. It's a little too sterile. Yeah. <laughs> Who else do you watch? Good. What's your guilty pleasure? My guilty pleasure. <laughs> TikToks that remind me of Vine. Yes. Mm -hmm. really ironic ones. I love that we bonded over our love for TikTok. Mm -hmm. I feel like I haven't found anyone who has this Renegade. crazy love of... Renegade. Ha, ha. Did you see the, oh my god, did you see James Charles do that? He was, I, I love like, I love, I love his little did. like. And his, his fingers are so long. Yeah, he it's was like straight the whole, I was like, that is a style. It is. I just love YouTubers in general. Cause I feel like the YouTube industry is kind of different. You have to kind of start by yourself, like from mm. kind of, you're gonna have to learn everything by yourself first, like to edit yeah. yourself and stuff. And it really allows people to kind of get somewhere without having all the resources necessary. Yeah, all, like, like all the. From the start, you mm -hmm. know? You start real bootleg. And exactly, it's like, you start with your <laughs> yeah. phone. My favorite is also the Sidemen. They're KSI's like whole group. They were my K-pop group before I was into K-pop. Really? Like I had their book and stuff. Like they do soccer videos. They would do like football challenges and stuff. What? This is the psychopath riddle. I'm gonna set the tone. I'm gonna set a scene for you, and you decide what you think is happening. And how you answer determines if you have a way of thinking that is psychopathic or not. Okay. But I'm not gonna like diagnose you or anything. Let's say you live in an apartment building and you have glass down windows, and facing your apartment building mm -hmm. is another apartment building with glass down windows. Now during the day you don't really see too much, but at night you know how when you have your lights on. Mm -hmm. the other building can see in. And so one night you're sitting there and you're reading a book and you look up and you see across the building from you, there's a man violently stabbing a woman. Okay. And he stops stabbing her, puts down his knife and starts looking at you and goes like this. <laughs> I don't want to get murdered, like, Sue. I love you 3000. So he's going like this. Mm -hmm. What do you think he's doing? This? Yeah, he's just like saying, murmuring something while pointing. I think he's like finger. counting. <gasps> yes, that's the psychopathic answer. What's the not psychopathic answer? That he's gonna come find you. We're doing this? Who's yeah. like, like, and like I'm a cat, like, you. yeah, come here. like come here. All right, well, it's nice to know you, Stephanie. <laughs> yeah. We're the psycho steps. We are the psycho twins. Hi, welcome. If you're in a relationship, are you the type that's like, I love you 3000 and I like made you all these paper cranes? I don't like, like my kind of dates are we play a sport, we go bowling, we like, we play, okay, we play okay. Minecraft, like for eight, I yeah. play Minecraft for eight hours like a day. So mm -hmm. I'd rather have like a world with my mans and like we like make a farm, mm -hmm. we like beat the ender dragon, you know? Yeah. So I don't like dinner dates and stuff unless I'm hungry and then it's like an excuse for me to go. Yeah, out. and it's like Taco Bell. Yeah. Yes. I don't like exactly. like fancy dinner dates either. Yeah, I'm I like, like yeah. boiling crab is the fancy. <laughs> also, my fiance was like, hey, should we play her song before she gets here? And like have it playing and I was like, I think she'll be really creeped out by that. I would come in a restaurant and then I would see like the people like murmur and then they start playing my song. Oh my and, God. Like, it's cute and I love it, but at the same time I'm also like, what am I supposed to do? Like act like I can't hear it? Like yeah. obviously I hear it's my song. So I'm like, like stand up and like do the chorus now? yeah exactly. like, what, do you do? Like, what do you want me to do i yeah. mean I, i'd prefer if you just come up to me and be like hey like you know and talk to me yeah. then like play my song like look at me from afar to see how i react i'm like is this a psychopath test like are you it makes a lot of songs in the um shower and so there's just a bunch of like recordings of like me in the shower like no, no video though because you know yeah just, just like voice notes of me singing like random notes and then i come out and i listen to them and like try to so point which melodies that I is like. such an odd thing i've never a heard so before you that. go into the shower you turn on a voice note mm -hmm. 
Is this every shower? When I'm not in a rush. That's so interesting. See, I feel like these are like the little things that I would never know that artists do. Do you think you sound better in a shower? Is that concept true? The everyone? concept is true. And I feel like anyone sings like sings better in a shower because reverb, like you know how it like echoes a lot? Uh-huh. That kind of masks a lot of the pitchiness a lot of people have. Mm. And so when you sing in the shower, it sounds perfect because it's just so like heavily like reverb that you can't hear your own like issues. And that's why a lot of people sing in the shower. Do you think you sound better at karaoke or no? Do you ever go to karaoke? Oh my god. I only do karaoke when it's like a song that I know I can't do. Oh, like and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. but if it's like a song I can do, like I'd rather not and just like enjoy with my friends. Singing. Yeah. Do you get people to ask you to sing? Like if you meet them? Oh yeah. They're no. like they'd be like, if you sing right now, like I'll give you like a free like dessert or something. And no. I'm like, what, what do I do now? Like I want a dessert, but I don't yeah. want to like start singing for no reason, you yeah. know? I usually just like uh no it's okay like i want the dessert i'm gonna pay for it anyways and i just take a picture with I was them. Going, okay so do you see yourself marrying another artist i love how you are not dating but i'm like marriage i definitely feel like i have to be with someone who at least has an interest in music even mm. if they're not a musician because like i would come home and i'd be like yo like i just heard this beat it was so cool blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. but then if they're like i don't get it I, I can't i need to be able to be as excited oh that's so interesting yeah but i also i'm like a huge believer in just like friendship like i want to grow old with my best friends who all i love and it's like old grandmas and like one home yes without, like dogs and cats that's kind of what i want oh my gosh that's really cute do you like dogs more or cats more i have to ask this i'm so okay. sorry it's such a basic ass question basic question <laughs> all basic beasts. yes i love both i do have a preference for cats because they're more like independent but i'm allergic to cat like severely allergic. i'm severely allergic to cats so that I'm like so sad about it. Yes. I always use gloves and masks. So my grandparents have cats and every time I go to their place, I would have like, you know, those like sanitary masks that mm -hmm. like people are using. You know? like, I would like come in and be like, all right, I'm ready to pet the cat. Mm -hmm. You know, those are sold out right now. We have it looking everywhere. Oh no. Like Amazon, CVS, Target, they're all sold out. What is the most embarrassing thing you've done for a boy? For a boy, oh my god. I used to um, write letters a lot, like love letters, and I would put them in their lockers, in his locker, <laughs> this is the only one guy. And like, I would like, if it, cause the thing is like, I, I'm a firm believer in like, it's not about the the price of things, it's yeah. about like the, the effort. Yeah. So I would like write a lot of letters, just, you know, like a whole page. <gasps> that it's is just so like cute. repetitive usually. It's always yeah. just like, you're awesome. And I'm glad to be, you know, close with you and stuff like that. Close with you. <laughs> Always just, but it really depends on the guy if i was with a guy who was like that then i'd still do that because if he likes it mm -hmm. and he makes it happy great but if i was with someone which i think would be my preference right now like if i was with someone who doesn't care you know then i just don't care don't care to write yeah. letters i'm like a work above a lot of things person mm -hmm. and so if i suddenly have to work five days in a row and i can't like text you or call you or see you i need them to be understanding oh wow five days in a row like no text no call yeah i would i would like be two weeks in a row of no texting anyone like Really? Like, unless they're like a work person that I need to talk to. Okay, so what's one thing you can't live without? Because it sounds like you can live without your phone as long as you can get in contact oh, with work um, people. But like... But like, you're like TikTok. I, I use my... Exactly. <laughs> I use my phone for everything. Like, I record songs on it. Uh, I do this and that. Like, I'm also like very paranoid. So if I don't have my phone, I'm like, who am I gonna call okay. if I get like kidnapped? Tell me your level of paranoia. How paranoid are you? Um, very, very. What's one thing that you do that's not normal in terms of paranoia? I am so scared of like being in an earthquake alone that I think I'm like getting like a big four bedroom with my friends mm -hmm. just so I don't have to worry about like being in an earthquake alone, even though my lease isn't even up yet. You're already thinking about this. You're planning this yeah. for the big one. Exactly. No, but do you have like emergency kits? Because I think there was recently an earthquake. Were you in LA for that? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I was awake and I was like. Yeah. Like, wait a minute. Do you have like a plan? Because I don't know what to do. <laughs> I I basically ran straight to the doorway because I heard like mm. arches, um, and I was like standing there like this, and I looked around and, like no one was coming out, and I just realized like it's like three in the morning, so no one was awake. So you were just like, standing in a doorway like this by yourself. Yeah, for a while. But you had like, like how to do this. Yeah, I feel like that's like a good starting position to run. Like a good crouch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Are you that kind of paranoid? Like, like I'm more paranoid about people. Okay, let me tell you about my Uber drive story, which is like such a stereotypical a YouTuber things, story. I had this Uber driver, and you know they have the they have the picture. Mm -hmm. So when you see them, you're like, okay, this is obviously my Uber driver. Mm -hmm. I'm safe to get in. The license plate matches all of that jazz. Mm -hmm. Whatever your mom tells you to do. Mm -hmm. Well, I get into the car and I realize. Wait a second, 
this is not the guy in the picture. So the guy in the picture had a, a shaved head. Oh. But the person sitting in the front had a wig on, like long blonde hair. Oh my God. And so I'm like, oh, and he looks at me and he goes, oh, I look nothing like my picture. And I was Man, like, that's so scary yeah. to say. And I said, yeah, you don't look like your picture. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> and he grabs up a handful of wigs and he asks me if I wanted to wear one. And so in my head, I'm thinking, okay, he's doing this so that if we pass by like traffic camps, mm -hmm. they're not going to know it's me because suddenly I'm a blonde girl. But then the person that's missing <gasps> that's is an Asian girl with not blonde hair. Yeah. And I went a little bit psychotic. I said, no, thank you. And then he was like, what do you do for a living? And I was like, I'm a YouTuber. And then he was like, I'm a YouTuber too. And so he gave me his YouTube channel mm -hmm. and it's all of him like in a car with like the AC blasting. You can barely hear him and no views and him ranting and yelling about life. And I was like, this is so scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was the most intense ride I've had. Okay, it sounds melodramatic, but like, you know. If I was in that position, I would be. Mm -hmm. My, My dad does this thing when he drives. When someone does something, he does this. He just thumbs them down. That's a psychology thing. Did you know that? No. I, I learned this on TikTok where I learned like all of my intellectual stuff mm -hmm. just to let you know. So mm -hmm. obviously it's fact checked. Wait, but hey, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Who's like, fun psychology facts. Yes, I yes, know yes. it works because I use them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like if you do this versus the middle finger, it's a lot more like yeah, it upsets the person more. Yeah, so your dad's on a roll. He's he like is. onto something. Honestly, he's like, he is the most intense person i know like in terms of just like his life is crazy just a texan boy coming to indonesia to be a marching band instructor meeting my mom a singer like on a plane randomly they met on a plane yeah that's really romantic they yes. met in the sky what's more romantic that right? is true like we met in the clouds head in the clouds isn't that an 88 rising thing it is <laughs> it i is just like our, casually um, slip that in there it's the best of all in the album <laughs> thanks for thanks for that um, yeah. his life is so random and i love him and he like does me he was a music teacher suddenly got promoted to be the principal because people like him so much that's how he became principal yeah he just got promoted they were like you're cool I thought he was always part of administration, but you're telling no. me he went as a marching band instructor. So he was a marching band instructor, mm -hmm. and then um, he became a music teacher, for like, so he didn't have to like travel that much uh, to take care of me as well. And then, because my mom was like a working woman, we stand, yeah. we stand my mom. Mm -hmm. um, he was like so liked that he just became a principal. Also, I, this is going to sound really creepy. I looked up your mom. Yes. She's really pretty. <laughs> she is, right? <laughs> She's Awesome. But like I didn't know if I should ever say anything because I know sometimes like the kids are like Oh, I don't want to be associated. I'm like doing my own yeah. thing, you know I totally get that. I okay. used to be like that especially especially in Indonesia because people were always like oh, it's CTG's kid mm. My issue wasn't that I was in her shadow My issue was that I was afraid I would do something that would discredit her name or like mm. make her look bad That's just that's what I was always scared of. You're like very wise in your thinking oh, thank I don't know, it's just, it's just because, you know, like, I, I see how hard she worked ever since I was a kid, so I was always kind of, like, making sure she was good, and, like, I didn't want to be the one to ruin it for yeah. her. Yeah, and she's, fail. she's on The Voice now. Yeah, she's on The Voice, doing her thing, her, um, she, she her team won last <gasps> time, and she sang I Love You 2000, like, the person in her team. Oh my god, you're gonna make me cry, why? <laughs> Quite lit. <laughs> I'm literally about to cry and you're like, yeah, my mom's lit. <laughs> I just love talking about them because it's like, every time I tell them their story, it's like so random. Yeah. This I'm like, why is this like... white boy from Texas like dating this singer star? <laughs> Wait, so are you living in Indonesia half the time and LA half the time? Or are you um, now based in LA? I'm now based in LA. Well, honestly, Indo food is so good, especially when they can make it not spicy for me. Okay, see, here's the thing. I wanted to get either seafood boil or Indonesian food, mm -hmm. right? But then I was really, really nervous. Like last minute, I pulled out because I was like, I feel like if I get it wrong or if I don't I get it not spicy, you can put just like cucumbers in front of me. I'm gonna eat it. There literally are cucumbers in front. <laughs> I'm gonna take some. By the no, way. no, no. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, now I feel the need to eat one with you. This is like we would eat this with like um uh, fried rice. So good. Mm. And you needed fried rice are the best because we use sweet soy sauce. Mm. So it's like sticky. Sticky and kind of like sweet. And you put like a fried egg on it. I'm gonna need to make you one. Yeah. Like Next mukbang is just me and the. It's not your fiance, it's gonna be me like. <laughs> you. Yeah, on this side. <laughs> okay, this one's with an egg. Can I talk about your song mm -hmm. that's coming out? Mm -hmm. Can I listen to it later? Yeah, I thought you did. No, you I, I didn't. Okay, so I was scared to ask because I don't know like what happens. Mm -hmm. You know, if you would be like, um, excuse me, did she sign an NDA? Can I sue her? Like, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, can okay, I maybe I shouldn't ask. <laughs> I can just show you the music video later. Yeah, so. really not trying to get sued by 88 Rising right now. <laughs> Girl, they'll sue me hey. first before they sue you. All right, so there's going to be two. I think there is two songs. Yes. So it's going to be out February 14th on Valentine's okay. Day. There's going to be two songs. 
romance. And it's actually kind of funny because they're kind of like anti-romance. This what? It's, it's um, do you love me? I and do. It's touch. <laughs> and it's also like this funny like personality quiz because okay. every time everyone I've met, it's been f like a 50% people, sorry, 50% mm -hmm. people like do you love me more and then 50% like touch more. And it's like a personality test. Do you love me is basically like this like kind of upbeat, like fun song mm -hmm. that's kind of just like showing the mindset of a person who's like in an like unrequited love. They're like going crazy. So the chorus is like, do you love me, love me, love me, yeah. Do you love me, love me not? Do you love me, yeah. Like, you know how like when you're yeah. picking pedals and it's like, yeah, do you love yeah. me? So it's like, she's going crazy. Like, so what do you feel? The lyrics are kind of like, whoa, she is a little bit coco. But uh, then the, okay. it's also kind of like a bit more childlike like headspace. And then touch is more mature. It's more emotional. It sounds a bit empty because I kind of want it to sound like what's in your head when you don't have the person you want like anymore. Uh, so it's like more emotional and it's a more mature understanding of love. Is it hard to like put yourself in that mind frame? If you're writing a song about heartbreak, but right now you're chilling and happy mm -hmm. as ever, is it hard to get there or are you just like, oh. no, I just need one shower? Well, I, I genuinely think my life is in terms of just like love. It's really boring. Oh. <laughs> so I always have to get inspiration from other places. Mm. So whether they're like movies, mm -hmm. whether they're like stories from my friends, whether it's just like one line that I wrote and I'm like, okay, let's build off of that and we make a storyline from that. And then you can just like, you're in that headspace where it's you feel like it. It's kind of like making a story yourself. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people are good storytellers, but it doesn't necessarily like, like the person who wrote a Hunger Games wasn't in a Hunger, Hunger Games. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I want to be a great storyteller. That's my aim in life. <gasps> I feel like I'm going to like, do you love me more? To be honest. All right, all right. <laughs> I do too. Yeah. And then maybe your bae is like a touch guy. I have a feeling. <laughs> just, just from the, this past. But I I feel like Do You Love Me is maybe more like TikTok dance song. Oh. We need to make a TikTok, me and you, we need to make a TikTok dance for that. We need Can to call we? Charlie. Yes, we'll call Charlie. We need to call the Hype House and be like, hey, help a girl out. <laughs> Let's get some hype. Is this just gonna be us? Like we're yeah. just silently doing Renegade when we're together. Yeah. I can't wait to watch them on Coachella and see all the girls dance in oh that my song. God. Wait, okay, I do have a question. Mm -hmm. Do you think those TikTok stars get paid by artists to make certain songs go viral? I, I think, think I think they I I don't think they used to, but now that the like music industry is starting yeah. to understand how great this is, like especially now, they're starting to, which is awesome because I feel like the more opportunities people have to, yes. you know, find a living on online it's mm -hmm. also giving like a lot more jobs because i always tell this is my like favorite thing my dad told me prepare for the jobs not today but tomorrow because when he was growing up there was no such thing as social media and yeah. no such thing as youtuber like you have to be prepared for the kind of jobs that might pop up in the future and i think tiktok is like one of those all right let's start practicing now <laughs> exactly i can't Ooh. do like the head thing oh my god i like the spongebob thing oh the little ching I'm not gonna lie. I <laughs> don't like never crawfish. had a crawfish. Like okay. I just had one just now, and I was like, it's like a shrimp, but like small. It's good. It's kind of like chewy, like a lobster. Did you suck the head? No. You have to. Okay. Where is but, my? But I I've smelled like the head, like my friend Aiden. I smelled it, and I was like, oh, you can't do that? it. You can't like, do it. It's very like it's aromatic. Like kind of brainy. Yeah, I can't. Very brainy. Okay, don't don't do it. I'm basic. No, it's okay. I like woman. it. You want to okay. keep preserve the brain. Yeah. <laughs> I DIY the song. I DIY the music video. I I did everything myself. I had to edit. I had to like download final cut it costs a lot yeah, yeah. i had to i used imovie like on youtube before because your girl thing you know she was like not today final cut yeah, not today like, but then i had to do like for the music video <laughs> you're like final for cut. this music video yeah <laughs> i was like for this you know whatever i'm gonna use it in the future again. wait so you edited it yeah, I ha and like everything. The only thing I didn't do was uh, play the guitar because I'm not that good. So I got my friend Austin. I love you, Austin. He played the guitar and he also like helped me like produce it. That's absolutely nuts. First of all, I didn't know that. I thought that that was pretty. I didn't know because I guess in my head, my timeline was like, well, the music video uh -huh. is like really artsy. Uh -huh. I was like, okay, she did it like super artsy on purpose. Like I get oh it. God. I see her. Girl. I see where the brain cells were. I get what it. The brain cells? Yeah, I see what happened here. <laughs> like, ooh, nice mm -hmm. job, 88 Rising. And then I was like, wait a second. You did that by yourself, yeah. but you're in oh, no. That's how shook I that's am. That's how shook you are. video with Do You Love Me, it was like, we kind of wanted to be kind of fun mm -hmm. and also really show like the the contrasting like in my head when i heard the song i was like okay i kind of want to play with colors like light i'm like super excited about it because like i like i took art my whole life so i was mm -hmm. like really excited to just do the art section of the art people in a they actually made like, like huge flowers out of like cardboard what it's huge yeah okay, i need to see this i'm like it's okay. so it's so fun most of the outfits were mine i'm starting to want to be a woman now <laughs> like, I kind of want to dress more like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're filming, is it lip syncing or is it? Are you actually singing? When it's a music video, like I have to sing because when I'm lip syncing, you can tell I'm lip syncing. So I have to sing it like to make it look like I'm actually singing. Yeah. 
So I'll be like, do you love me? And then people, like, people on the back, like behind me, like, you know, behind the set would start laughing because I'm like singing like off key and kind of like <laughs> whispering weirdly, just so it looks like I'm, so I'm uh, like, is there anything else or is it just dead silence? And then you guys, like, they'll, they'll play the music, right? Wait, I have something for you. I got you. Okay. <laughs> but it's fish and chips. <gasps> Thank you like, so much. I can't get her a basic oh my flower bouquet, so it's fish and Dude, chips. This do you want to date me now? I think I wish my mans me? would do this. I hope it touched your soul. Do, do you me? want me? <laughs> <laughs> so good. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you for being my Valentine. Oh my God. I love how I didn't ask. <laughs> what do you mean? I didn't even ask you if you want to be my Valentine. I'm well, like, we thanks. both kind of just agreed. Yeah, it was like there. It was like the stuff our, needs our, to um, our, our psycho psychopathic tendencies you're like <laughs> no we get it i'm glad you like it can i can i take one right now yeah so like i'll take one too yes i so. don't know if it's um <gasps> oh it's they're sick skewered bar. oh my god it's like indonesian like street food they don't taste as good as they look yeah <laughs> you not do that <laughs> it tastes like um your cardboard flower probably tastes like this like kind of cardboardy it was special. It is special. Thank you. I love how we're just trying mm. to talk ourselves. The smell of roses and, <laughs> and fish and chips. I think you need to hang this up. I do. Put it in a vase. <laughs> and then like in a couple of days like. Wow, it's smelting. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you for being here. I'm going to leave all of her music. I haven't even seen the music video yet. So. I'm going to show her after this. Yes, so. so I will see it before this is posted. Yes. Because I get the inside scoop. Wow, I feel so special for once. <laughs> inside scoop. You want to go stream it? I'll stream it. On every what are the platforms? On every <laughs> every YouTube. platform that you have. Stream Others. it right now. Thank you for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.